for a long time, actually, the media specialists have been doing a lot more uh, coding and technology with the students because it's what the kids love to do, it's what they need to know, and it teaches them really great skills. It allows kids to be thinkers, to problem solve, to work together, to collaborate. They're thinking about their world um, and taking objects um, that they wouldn't normally take notice of and thinking about how they can make them more beautiful, more ethical, uh, more efficient, how they can work better. Um, it's just amazing that the things that they come up with. We're encouraging our students to think creatively about problems that they identify in the world. One of the exciting parts of the Media 2.0 initiative is expanding what we do in the Media Center and turning students from consumers of media and technology into producers of media and technology. And so on any given day, we're writing code, we are creating uh, new things that come from their imagination, and it has really breathed new life into this space. My role as a teacher in media has shifted from being in charge and the leader in most activities to now the students are responsible and accountable for leading their groups, for identifying the problems, for coming up with solutions to those problems. The, the kids become the leaders in the classroom and I take a back seat as a facilitator and a questioner to help guide their next steps as design thinkers. We try to make something rooted in literacy which allows the kids to take that literacy and do something with it and kind of make and create based on that. The thing that we're hearing over and over again is the cool feedback from the students and how much they actually love what they're being able to do. The kids are getting to give us feedback as far as like what they want in this space. They're watching the space change and getting really excited about it because anytime there's something new that's always exciting. There's so much stuff and I was like I want to try all these things in one hour. You could like run wild in here. Your imagination could just like be you can be creative and you could really do anything in here and make stuff. This could be like one of your jobs and like in elementary school you don't do any of that. So now like you have a chance to learn about that and like do stuff and that's maybe like someday you could be like this big person that does a lot of this stuff. We like to create things in the makerspace because it's fun and we can do projects. For like a job you might be like you might want to be a NASA scientist like me and like you need to know how to uh, do engineering, you know how to do coding, maybe for uh, like a computer you might need to know a lot about tech and all that. Prototypes are kind of a way to learn what your mistakes were and you can just keep trying and never give up. You don't have to like be told what to do. You get to work with other people and have teamwork. It just feels good just like knowing that you don't have to like do anything special. You just sit down and just like, go. Their feedback said that this kind of thing is something they can really relate to and they can really find themselves investing in. We think it's the right work and it's something we kind of want to develop at all buildings moving forward. So now we're working with architects to try to find ways to take the furniture, the parts of the existing media center, and roll it into one cohesive, cool space for the kids to learn, design, and collaborate. When these elementary students graduate from high school or college, the jobs that are going to be out there, we can't even imagine right now. But we know that they're going to need to persevere and problem solve. We know that they're going to need to collaborate and work together. There's a lot of those skills that we don't always get to teach in reading and writing and math and science and social studies. That's why our media program is such a great opportunity for kids to learn things like coding and perseverance and collaboration and looking at big problems and finding solutions for them because that's something that we can do here in the makerspace.